There are several key aspects you need to consider when deploying a service for OTT. First of all, of course, you need to take into consideration, okay, what's the platform um, you are wanting to um, um, deploy your service to? What are the technical, technological circumstances? And you need to come up with a, a smart move in regards to being able to have a future-proof solution because you don't want to change your application or the whole infrastructure on the backend system every year and for every system. So you should try to find a, a standardized way how to approach all the different platforms. Um, then besides the technological uh, aspects, you should, of course, um, um, take a look at the content offering. I mean, at the end, it's all about the content. The customer does not care about the technology behind it. So you really should uh, think about the business model also. Which kind of content and which kind of uh, um, um, business model do you want to offer? Do you want to offer transactional video on demand, for example, or subscription video on demand, or EST? So what's your, what's your focus? And of course, that should um, fit into your whole strategy. I mean, um, Maxdome is a part of the Prozines Alliance group, and we are one of the biggest uh, European um, TV groups. So video on demand for us, of course, is kind of like a natural successor, and it's very important for us to to have um, a, a great service in that area. Um, for others, uh, uh, you know, from different industries, coming from different industries, like cable operators or pay TV operators or even IT and software companies, um, it may be a totally different approach because it may fit totally in a different way into their whole strategy. So it largely depends on what your general strategy is. So there's a lot of different factors, technology, content, user perspective, business model, and at the end, of course, mostly the strategy you should consider when you want to deploy a service for OTT. I think uh, that's also something which I can only answer from our individual perspective because, again, it depends largely on where you're standing right now, what your situation is. Um, so we are mostly a uh, local player. So speaking for Maxstorm, we are currently only available in Germany. Um, of course, we are assessing opportunities in other countries as well because we are more and more also competing with pan-European services. So for us, it's a necessity also to be able outside of Germany. And also, interestingly, we see a lot of demand from other countries coming to us and asking us uh, whether or not we can uh, offer our service in their countries. So um, in short term, I think uh, it is likely that we will go to German-speaking countries, to other German-speaking countries. Uh, it has not been decided yet. Um, beyond that, we will see. We will need to see whether or not uh, we can, um, you know, create a situation in other countries as well as we have in Germany, where we have a strong position thanks to our uh, mother company, ProSiebenS Alliance. One challenge I would uh, rather talk about, because I can imagine all the other interview partners you will have will talk about technological standards, about content window restrictions, about user adoption uh, and all that stuff, which is totally true. I would like to focus in my answer on piracy. I think that is absolutely one of the biggest challenges, one of the biggest risks we are facing today. Um, in Germany, we see today that the illegal usage is, is growing very strongly. We have a lot of different platforms where you can watch content for free without any business model, well, except for the pirates. And, um, you know, it's a big risk that people, especially young people, are getting used to um, obtain their content through those sources without having to pay uh, anything for that. So we need to re-educate them later in order to get them to our service. And I think um, in order to overcome that uh, challenge, we all need to work on it as an industry. The content providers need to ease up a little bit maybe on their content uh, windows, but also we as a product, as a service provider, we need to improve our, our, our service, our offering. Uh, I think multi-screen is a big opportunity for us because only we as a legal service can offer a truly ubiquitous service on every platform be it iPad, be it uh, hybrid TV sets or hybrid Blu-ray displayers. You know, we can create really a compelling service on all those different platforms, making it really safe and really convenient for customers to access um, great content. And then I think when, once we've achieved that, then I think it will be much more easier to, um, to um, um, get customers on your platform and to use a legal alternative instead of going to illegal websites and getting the content from there. The event is great, I like it. I've been here a couple of times already and it's uh, surely one of the industry leading events in this 
in this space. Um, uh, I like the opportunity to meet a lot of my uh, fellow um, partners um, from the CE manufacturer side, but also from other industries. And uh, I also like a lot of uh, the presentations being held here. There's a lot of interesting stuff. And it's also very interesting to see from year to year how the discussion uh, is going, right? There's every year you, you see a, a slight change of topics, new things come up and other problems, you know, got resolved or maybe got forgotten, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's a very great event. I like being here. Finally, um, would you recommend somebody else to help? Someone else? Yeah. From my company or so from, from, any other from company, Well, <clears throat> I think, as I said before, I, I, I cannot uh, strengthen that point enough. Uh, one of the key aspects we should uh, discuss more about is piracy. Uh, how to uh, react on piracy, how to improve legal alternatives. So I think it would be great to have someone from the, um, I don't know, uh, in Germany we have a, an a, a, um, association called GVU, uh, which is responsible for the uh, legal video um, uh, services, and um, have someone from, from that part of industry come here, um, or maybe um, more people from the content industry also coming here and to, to discuss openly with them about you know, the threats and the the, but also the opportunities of OTT with them.